Okay, go. So adding this course of tie, this crisscross tie, is really beneficial as far as creating a stable mattress surface. So that is new and um, it should be relatively comfortable when, when the piece is uh, upholstered. How do you keep the, the um, lumbar torso, the one up top, how do you keep that stable? from not slipping back. Well, there are ties running from the frame on this side. You mm -hmm. can see that they're pulled down. I've also borrowed from the structure on the ends by creating a course coming across where it can't just lop over. It does want to retract from that edge just a little bit. I mean, you can see just line of sight that it moves in just ever so so slightly. And it's going to want to because the belly of this mattress is going to cause these springs to come this direction and without being able to tie further up onto the infrastructure it's impossible to keep these springs from from moving in this direction and you can't tie up because it the top moves because yeah. it's part it moves and it's part of the inside back right so the inside back structure is simply soft upholstery there's there's webbing and a hair filled pod and the burlaps that cover this will just simply be blanket stitched to that uh, structure and so that's what we're relying upon is stitching at the top okay. to maintain the structure. There will be no tacking in order to stabilize it. Uh, let's move back down to the tack strips okay. on the side. 